Tony Zenotes, Aphrodite Granite Marble. Uh, many of you might know me through Acropolis Marble, my dad's former company. However, I started my own company. And I'd like to take everybody through the steps involved of ordering granite. It's a very simple, easy process, but uh, being able to create this film on the steps involved, you'll all be able to see you know, exactly what is involved in ordering your stone for your application. So uh, we're here at our Valley Park location today and uh, we have our other location in Chesterfield. People will typically either come in with a set of plans or set up an appointment for us to come out and give them a free estimate. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to Lisa's house. We're going to give her a free estimate and uh, see where that takes us. So off to Lisa's house. Okay, so we're here over at Lisa's house. She set up an appointment with us and uh, I'm getting ready to measure the countertops for a proposal. Tony, thanks so much for coming. I am so excited. Welcome to my mess. I'm remodeling my house, and um, what made me so excited about having you come out is I saw on your website that you will produce a quote within 24 hours. So let's get started. Let's do it. All right, we're here at Unique Stone, one of our suppliers. We're here to pick the slabs as part of the third step of the ordering process uh, for Lisa's granite application. So let's take a look at her stone. All right, as part of the third step in the ordering process, we're here to pick Lisa's slabs for her project, as we've already done. And for the things that we've gone over, uh, were gloss variation between slabs, pitting or natural defects in the surface of the stone, uh, bad spots or beauty marks, some people call them beauty marks, and um, underside striations or item, basically checking the back side of the stone so that things won't appear in the edge once the piece is cut. Okay, Tony, so what's the next step? We picked the granite, I'm excited. What are we doing now? Today we're gonna to template. We typically follow one of three methods for templating. We'll either uh, hard template a surface, we'll either take measurements for freestanding you know, items, and then finally we'll use our laser templator if in fact the application requires us to use a laser templator. Today we're just gonna be hard templating. So let me get started with that. Now that we've created the templates, I'm going to go over these with you. Okay. Um, for instance, your peninsula is already marked. We're going to do 14 inches of overhang on the back side. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a standard overhang on this side. We're going to radius the corner so you don't bump your hip to do it. Okay. We're doing internal radiuses, as you can see labeled on the template. We're going to hug the, top of the stove nice and tight. Okay. And per your book match, we're going to show you on your slabs, per the, uh, the book match form that we're going to hand out to you here shortly, how your veining is going to flow across your piece. Wow. So that you can see what you're getting before you get it. Oh, the final cool. step in this template procedure is handing out the template detail form. This basically sets your expectation. And this is what separates us from other companies out there. We basically created this form over 15 years to bridge the gap between your expectations mm -hmm. and what industry norms are. And so what we're going to do is outline common occurrences that inflate your budget and are typically related to external factors that affect our work. Okay. For instance, scratched walls or painting, or if your cabinets aren't plain or level, we're going to go in detail over this form, it's going to cover everything All right. and it's going to help you keep your budget and your expectations in line All with right. what typically is inherent in our industry. Very good. So I'm going to give this to you, okay. I already Perfect. filled it out and please sign it and I'll go through everything with you. So now we're, we're nearing the, uh, the fabrication point and as we approach the point of fabrication we have to do a book match and this is where we're basically going to show the customer uh, or you Lisa. Um, your slabs, the pieces superimposed on your slabs, and then fit together so you could see how all the veining and shading are going to come across your seams. Uh, that's the point of the book match, to make sure that you get the flow that you want across seamed areas in your application. So here's what I prepared. We have your two slabs with the pieces superimposed on there. And then basically, this is the layout of your kitchen. Your seam is right here. You can notice that the pieces basically blend across. Mm -hmm. Here's your peninsula piece. If we were to flip this around, this would be this piece. And then your piece to the right of the stove. 
basically we went after what you were wanting, uh, the most dramatic look at your peninsula and proper seam flow across the uh, seam over there. Now, I know for uh, videotape purposes, these uh, pictures are probably not going to come through that great, but uh, hopefully I like everybody it. gets I like the idea. The, <laughs> I like the ability to be able to see what I'm getting before you've cut anything. Exactly. In case I wanted to move or change anything, this mm -hmm. is the time, I guess, that we would do that. Right. And if you would be so kind to put your signature here, we won't start cutting without it. Okay. We'll make sure it's done your way. So this is the final product. And uh, what do you think? I absolutely love it. It yeah. has been so nice to work with you, Tony. I just love everything that you did from helping me make the selection in the um, granite store to actually doing the drawing and the layout so I know that where the granite was actually going to hit on the piece itself to um, the guys coming and installing. They did a great job and uh, just look, my final product is just absolutely gorgeous. I think so too. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Joy yeah. to work with you. Thank you. Okay. So Tony, when we were trying to figure out what to do for my bathroom, um, I remember you and I walked your yard and you had some awesome remnants there. And this was one that we found and you actually pointed this out to me and said it would be great with what was going on in my bathroom. Tell me a little bit about this piece. River Bordeaux. It's a uh, exotic material. Uh, that's one of the good things about having a boneyard um, versus a smaller operation that uh, limits you to the selection of uh, boneyard material. I mean, you reap the benefits of uh, not paying for a full slab and getting some exotic stuff like this at a fraction of the cost. And I'm glad it worked out for your application. This looks great in here. Thank you.